Hey guys, what is up? Today I am playing Rise of Nations. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support from our fans and everything. And um, make sure you hit that like and sub button so you can keep up on future videos. You can join our Discord, that link is in the description. And we also have a Roblox group that you can join it. That We do special things with that and develop games with that. So with Rise of Nations, Luke and I have recently gotten into this game and you know we just wanted to play it and if you know what it is, it's pretty much a game, it's like the board game Risk if you've ever played that. What you want to do is become the strongest country in the world and pretty much just conquer and take over. You can de form factions, unions, uh, declare war, collect resources, run your government however you see fit. Just it has a lot of in-depth things. If you're not sure how to play, I'm going to be uploading a video about a tutorial of how to play to give you like a beginner's guide. It's kind of confusing at first, but it's honestly not that bad. But today I'm going to be show, telling you, give you some, some, you know, some helpful tips of how to start, and telling you like what's what's the best country to play with. Like, there's so many different considerations to take into this. Like, you don't know. Obviously, if you don't have enough XP, you can't choose one of the superpower powers like America or the North American Union, um, stuff like China or Russia. So if you want to take more of a a laid-back approach where you just want to kind of sit on the sidelines and you want to collect resources and build your country up and then go and co try and conquer some countries. I'd say it's something more of like um, New Zealand is really good. Um, this doesn't have a very high population, has some resources here and there, but you can then spread out to all the different islands and close by, start making your way up. Of course, with this, you got to work out for whoever controls China or Japan. They are normally become a superpower and like to take over early. But if you can work your way up, that's good. I would not suggest choosing any country in Europe unless you're an experienced player and you want a lot of war and fighting and all this different stuff because normally Europe, countries in Europe, they're small and they're close by so it's easier for other countries to just work their way through and then get up to you and you might not be ready enough to fight those and you'll lose all your progress. Now South America, that's not so bad. Um, you kind of have some larger countries so it's kind of harder for someone to just conquer down through the continent and take you over. I would say with this one, like maybe not Brazil. Brazil is it's kind of hard to work with. It covers a lot of land. And it's hard to move your troops around. But at the same time, it's also hard to conquer Brazil because of how large it is. And you can combat them and have lots of cities around the border. You're right on the ocean, and close to Africa, and all that stuff. So if you're looking for more of a, a mild pace game, I would start somewhere in one, one of the countries in South America. Ultimately, though, to get to what the best country is to use, I would say at least one of the countries in Africa. You can't go wrong. Sometimes I like to play on Madagascar because you're kind of off to the side there and has some resources and you can slowly start making your way across the continent. Um, as I said, there's a there's a lot of countries on Africa and they're all smaller so they gotta, they gotta slowly work their way down through. So I would probably say um, South Africa would be my number one choice of country to pick. I like this because it has a lot of ocean around it so you can do a lot of naval attacks. You so you can get it's close to South America, it's not too far away from Asia. Then also Africa itself has a lot of resources. Up here you have a lot of oil, over here you have a lot of diamonds. There's just a lot of a lot of different resources and metals and minerals and stuff that you can collect so you can get become really rich really quick. It doesn't have an awful population, it's actually pretty populated. So you don't have to really worry about manpower too much and you can start conquering from the beginning. You don't have to worry about your money running out in the beginning because you can become a pretty wealthy country pretty quickly. So yeah, definitely can't go wrong with anywhere in Africa, but my number one pick overall in the entire game would probably be South Africa. If you guys want to see more videos on Rise of Nations and me do us do more stuff with this, um, just let us know and I'll do more. I plan on doing a couple more videos here. I have a couple ideas about like starter trips tips and just how to get um, play the game in general because it is kind of confusing in the beginning just remember to like and sub and see you guys on the next one